Hello everybody, it's great to be back with you guys. I know it's been a long time. I missed you all. Now I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Today let's talk about California and what it has to offer. All this abundance. And you people probably don't know about that. So I'm going to go ahead and start. First of all, now if you're pregnant and you want uh, abortion on demand, that's even till the point where the baby's out, no problemo. You came to the right place. That's California, yay. They actually embrace and encourage that kind of thing. Did I also mention that birth rates are at a, at a 30 year low? That's because not many little beautiful precious human beings are being born. That could be why there's an advocacy for abortion. And I'm not liking it. Okay, let's go to if you have a bully or unruly disruptive kid. Well, California is the place to be, people. They welcome that as well. Where, instead of having, uh, calling it a school to prison system, which they are saying it is, it's actually a home to prison system. Home school prison system. You got me? Okay. And if uh, they, they want to put it, you know how they, we got some drug users in California? I don't blame them. It's just, you know, they have issues and they really need our help. But government officials like Pelosi and Governor Newsom, are, are, they're not doing what they should. Am I right? So what they're saying is they're giving these... Uh, uh, people who are using these drugs, they're, gi they're giving them the false sense of liberation. Instead of the way that Arizona does it, they put them in mandatory addiction and rehabilitation for mental illnesses. That's what they would do if they care, but apparently they don't. Now, let's go to my next point. Keeping that in mind, homelessness is the highest rate in California compared to the country where uh, 100,000 homeless people are homeless at a given day. And that equates to 33 people to 10,000. 33 people out of 10,000. Hmm. If you want to steal... They give you that green light too. You simply go into the any shop that you want in California. You can have a bandit of hoodlums do it. Each of you guys can steal up to $900. And you don't get that felony. You get a misdemeanor. And you can thank the ACLU and the Democratic Party for that. What else does the fruits and plentiful abundance that California has to offer? Well, they also advocate for free Medicare for all. But they don't tell us it comes with a cost of 2 million jobs. Opted out. Not to mention 32 trillion taxpayer dollars that the government mean. That, what does that mean? Yeah, they got to increase taxes on us. Yeah. Did I cover? Did I say enough? Or shall I say more? You come to California, we welcome you all. You'll have more than you probably wanted. And that includes, did I mention that the, uh, thanks to Governor Newsom, you're, they give, uh, the state gives um, sterile needles, packet, and you could use drugs anywhere you like and stack up the used needles near daycare centers, schools, just anywhere you like. You could use it anywhere. And most people I'm hearing look like zombies, unconscious, half dead. But who cares, right? As long as Governor Newsom and Pelosi get a check. And a mighty big one, I might say. Everybody's happy, including you and I, right? At least that's what they want us to think, like they're doing us a favor. Okay, that is my two cents. I hope you guys are having a happy Thanksgiving. And be safe. 
and be thankful that you're around another day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.